Yo guys, how's it going? AK Motor here today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to replace a clutch lever on your dirt bike. Here we are working on a 2021 Yamaha YZ250F. And as you can see over here on the clutch lever, it broke right there clean at the pivot. So it actually still works. Uh, just, you know, not quite in the best of shape. So we're gonna be replacing that here with a Motion Pro replacement lever. Lots of companies make levers. You can get them OEM from whatever dirt bike manufacturer you have. So you can get OEM, Yamaha, Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, so on and so. Uh, here we have a Motion Pro one. They make a lot of OE replacements. And then we also uh, have Tusk ones and there's a lot of other brands uh, that make upgraded aftermarket ones like Unbreakable Designs. And an unbreakable lever looks a lot like this here. Uh, it can actually bend backwards to prevent it from snapping at the pivot. Uh, so there's a lot of different lever options on the market. But here today, I'm just gonna be going with a OEM uh, replacement clutch lever here for my 250. Uh, let's get started. And while I am working on a YZ250F here, this procedure is gonna be the same for pretty much any dirt bike with a clutch. Of course, if you have like a little bike like that one that doesn't have a clutch, you don't have to worry about any of this that I'm showing you guys today, but for pretty much all dirt bikes, this whole process is going to be the same exact procedure uh, that I'm about to show you guys. But first, let's get this bike here up onto a stand just so it's not gonna kind of rock side to side while we're working on it. All right guys, so the first step we are gonna do here is we're gonna uh, turn the adjuster inward so we can get as much cable slack here with the lever as possible. So basically we'll have a lot of play to where we can pull it in before it actually pulls on the cable. Uh, so we're just gonna turn this adjuster in, give us um, plenty of cable slack so we can remove the lever. All right, there we go, that should be plenty of slack. And then here's what I was talking about. You can see, well, the lever's broken, but you can see it has from where it normally sit to where it actually starts to pull on the cable. Lots of slack, so that's gonna make the whole process a little bit easier for us. Uh, over here, we're just gonna get this little dust cover and fold it backwards just so we can kinda see what we're actually doing. Now my lever broke in an interesting way where I can just literally pull it off from this point on, um, but I'm gonna do it as if this lever wasn't broken like this. Uh, so here we have to remove this bolt. Now this bolt right here is actually threaded into the perch and there's a little a locking nut underneath here we're gonna have to remove. Here you guys can actually see under the perch, but here I'm just gonna get a little eight millimeter wrench and hold the bolt on the top in place. And we have a 10 millimeter socket. We're just gonna loosen this nut up right down here. Now we're just gonna get an eight millimeter socket and a ratchet and loosen this bolt up here. That for some reason was not an eight millimeter socket. This is, uh, for some reason I had a nine thirty seconds in my eight millimeter slot. That was weird. But uh, yeah, again, we're just gonna loosen this bolt up. This one really shouldn't be tight at all. And we'll just fully remove it. And to remove this cable, we can simply pull it out now. And here to get the cable out, you can see there's a little notch. So all we gotta do is turn the cable sideways and then push down and that kind of cable piece here will come right out of this notch in the lever. Uh, so here to put it back on, we literally just do the reverse. And here while we're at the perch and the cable, I'm just gonna get some contact cleaner and kind of clean out any old grease and uh, dirt that may be in the perch here. Uh, you can use contact cleaner, uh, you can use brake cleaner, but be careful with anything more harsh like a brake cleaner or a carb cleaner, because those can damage some plastic surfaces. Uh, or just an all-purpose degreaser, heck, even water and on dish soap would probably do the job pretty well too. All right, now that we have our old lever removed, we wanna take the time uh, to compare the old one and the new one. Now, you can't do this in every situation. Sometimes your old lever will just be kind of mangled to where this step would be completely useless. But if your old lever is in okay condition, uh, just take a minute and just set them side by side, your new one and your old one, just to make sure everything matches up. Now, I've seen on multiple bikes in the past, uh, sometimes the lever will be a very, very slight different shape um, from like maybe OEM, like an aftermarket one. Um, but as long as everything fits well and you know everything over here at the pivot uh, lines up correctly, you don't have to worry about anything. Like little, very tiny differences, like the length of the lever or maybe uh, the curve of the lever. Sometimes there'll be slight differences, but again, uh, the most important part is like kind of where it attaches to the clutch perch here. You want that to be pretty much identical, the same. Um, but then like the body of the lever, again, I have seen it to where sometimes an aftermarket one might be a little bit longer, might be uh, just a little less a little less of a bend in it, just um, 
that gentle sort of thing. Uh, in that case, you wouldn't really have to worry about it in most cases. Now here, before we install our new lever here, I'm gonna get a little bit of a grease. You can use a waterproof grease. You can use like a oil if you don't have any grease. Uh, it really doesn't matter that much, but you just wanna get some kind of lubricant uh, on the pivot of the lever. Again, waterproof grease is ideal, um, but just get some kind of lubricant here on the pivot of the lever, on the pivot bolt, and then inside the perch here as well, just so when you put everything back together, everything moves real nice and smoothly. Now that all of our old parts are clean and all of our new parts are inspected and everything looks good and we have a little bit of grease on some of the pivot surfaces, I'm going to install the new lever here and it's pretty much the exact same process as before, just in reverse. So here I'm just going to line up our cable and this little groove in the lever, turn this to the side, make sure everything fits into the perch nicely. Now we're going to install this pivot bolt, make sure we're not cross threading it, going to install it a few threads by hand. Now we can run this all the way down. And now here for this pinch bolt, you really don't want this to be too tight, just barely snug. These bolts are, or these threads in these perches are really, really easy to strip out if you go too crazy with it. And you can actually uh, pinch the lever here in the perch if you over tighten this and it'll kind of make this hard to pull in. So here you just want to get it snug to where you start to feel some resistance. And here I'm just kind of going to get it just snug, but we're not going to go crazy because again, it has a locking nut that goes in the bottom. Uh, so yeah, we just wanna get this nice and snug by hand. There's no real reason to go crazy with it here. Here, I'm gonna take a quick minute to wipe away any excess grease. And now we are gonna reinstall our locking nut here onto the bottom side of our bolt. Gonna get an eight millimeter wrench to hold the top bolt in place. Then we're just going to snug this bottom bolt down. You can get this one a little bit tighter than the top bolts as it's not actually going to be clamping down on the lever, just holding the top bolt in place. But again, you really have no reason to go too crazy. You just want it nice and snug and that's it. Here I'm going to move our dust cover back into place and then here everything's pretty much installed and good to go but we have a ton of play so now we're going to move um, or we're going to adjust this play so we just have a little bit but not of course this much this is completely excessive right here so here i'm going to adjust our play and the lever here i'm actually going to move the cover just so you guys can see what i'm doing here and then you don't want zero play you just want a little bit to where you can pull it in before you're actually engaging the clutch so i'd call this pretty good um, here I'm gonna loosen it just a little bit. That's that's a little bit on the looser side because this right here isn't engaging anything. This is just playing the cable. So here I like to just put a tiny bit of pressure on it and that'll kind of show us how much play we have. You wanna have about the width of a penny or so in play right here. And uh, this looks pretty good. If anything, it's a little extra play, but I'd rather have it a little bit extra than not enough play because not having any play or even just not having enough play uh, could cause your clutch to slip in extreme cases, but here this looks pretty good. Just a little bit of play, everything's operating nice and smooth. I'm just gonna move this back here, and that's how you replace a dirt bike clutch lever. And there we go guys, it is that simple. Out with our old broken lever and in with our new lever here. Works very, very nice and smoothly. You can see everything's adjusted. Uh, just a tiny, tiny bit of play, but not too much, nothing excessive. Both our top bolt and our bottom nut are nice and snug. And then we have a little bit of fresh grease here, waterproof grease, so we can have this operating real nice and smoothly for the future. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I tried to keep this really, really simple and easy. And let me know if you guys have any comments or questions or anything in the comment section below. All right guys, there we go. And that is a clutch lever replacement here on a dirt bike. Again, this is a YZ250F 2021, but it's gonna be pretty much the same process on dang near any dirt bike. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything like that, comment section is down below. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.